Hello everyone and welcome back to Susa Plays Blood Bowl 2 with a Nurgle team. Our team has developed somewhat. We uh, had a bit of misfortune last game when we lost one Pestigore, but another Pestigore managed to level up. So, first of all we need to replace this guy because he took an armor value injury. He's only level 1, so it's better to replace him early. He did level up, so we could level him up and then fire him. Let's just roll the dice for fun. And of course he rolls a double. So we will give him Hail Mary Pass. And since Hail Mary Pass is terrible, we're going to fire him. So there we go, that was a red pony too, so we need to get red pony three and confirm that's all our money but we now have every player we need we got a, f a new rotter as well cheesy whiz which is a bit strange uh, considering the rest of the team's theme but pale pony our killer or killer to be leveled up so now we can get claw and that's pretty good. Now we have Claw Mighty Blow again. Let's hope he gets to live long enough to reach Pile On as well, and then we can have some fun with him. Other than that, uh, the Lamb is doing well when he's on the field. And we have two Block Warriors, two Mighty Blow Warriors. One warrior who got the MVP but needs one more SVP to get, well, probably block, although it might be a good time. I think uh, Sniffles here, if he gets one more SVP, we're gonna get guard on him. Because it's coming, we're coming up to the point where we need guard to be able to block. Uh, block with some uh, regularity. Lamb can also get block as a uh, guard as his next skill. Unless he rolls a double. So, that's it. Let's now try to play find, op find an opponent. It's gonna take a while. Uh, our team value is over 1500, even though we're still very much in the beginning. So, let's hope we can find someone who we're on, on the level with. I don't want to play anyone with 2000 team value if I can avoid it. So uh, I'll see you back once our uh, opponent has arrived. And we found ourselves a chaos team at roughly the same amount of team value. Actually, we're a little bit higher, a little bit lower than them because uh, they needed an, a journeyman. Level 13. He has a Minotaur. What's that? That's a Chaos Warrior tail, I guess. Okay, uh, armor value, injury, block on most of them. One guard, there's the tail warrior. Juggernaut and a Mino, that's solid. Should probably replace this guy, but I guess he, he is a bit short on players. This guy's not in the game, uh, not in this game, and this beastman with five movement has mighty blow. Well, he has taken a few hits. He does have a mighty blow down there. Let's look at his stats. Five wins, 19 losses. That sounds pretty bad, actually. Um, well, we have no extra money, so all we can get is a blah blah blah. I don't need to think about it. I was thinking, well, 90k, we should probably spend 10k of our own money. But we can't. So, baby this, and we will see. We could have bought an extra player, I suppose. But we have two extra players. So, since he's only at... At uh, 11, we should definitely try to get his players out of the game. Just a few, 
and then he won't have any replacements. Say hello and have fun. But with a record like that, I kind of uh, expect concedes if we if he gets too far bound, far behind. Fr. And I suppose that means uh, he's asking if I'm from France, which I'm not. Uh, right, he's gonna start an offense. You usually want to start hitting when it's bash team versus bash team. We're going to give him. Didn't say. Cheesy Whiz and Rotterdam Ron on the sidelines. Actually, no. We're going to put these two on the field. We don't need our tackler against these guys. So we're actually going to be a little bit lower. Do we want to give him the Beast of Nurgle to hit? We could do it. Let's, uh, let's uh, rig a Frenzy Trap. Let's put... Our best warrior behind here. And if he pushes the beast, he's gonna get onto him, and then things gonna go bad. This guy needs to be protected. Frenzy needs to be available. These two stand on the side. Get one beast there. Or one Nurgle warrior there. Yes, it's the backwards arrow formation. Actually, it looks a little bit silly. Let's do this instead. And then save this setup. And confirm. Why the beast on the line? Well, I kind of want to have his guys. His tough guys in the middle there trying to hit the beast. Although he didn't really try. Oh, well, let's have a look at that a little bit. In a little bit. Quick snap. So we can adjust. Looks like he's planning to hit here and here. But not the beast. Or maybe he's blitzing the beast. Not the minnow. That would counter our frenzy trap as well. Or actually if he goes here and here and follows and then blitzes the beast pushing the other guys over here oh well he's going straight into the beast and foul appearance saved us so no hit there. out. Mighty Blow versus Armor 8. He's not gonna get better hits than that. This is non-Mighty Blow versus Armor 8. Not well, and he gets a 2 die on the beast and knocks it down. Mm. I'll stand firm there because if I go there he might be able to get a better foul on him. Here the foul would be at least only... Well, it could be a 3 plus foul. If he goes there he could get a 4 plus foul. Even though I'm not sure he has... ...good plan to do it. Now if he stays there... ...he has not... ...he's even on the side of my frenzy guy. No ball handling skills either. It is very sunny, which means passing is going to be more difficult. Passing against Nurgle, always difficult. Okay, well. This means we can't use our Claw Mighty Blow this time. Because this, uh, surfing him is much more valuable. This is a 2 die. Standing up the beast here will get it hit again. But it's better than not standing the beast up, so let's do that.
Now, where do we want to go with the rest of the team? Could try to lock up over here, but we need to do this. So this guy goes here and he blitzes. I'm just going to do some stuff that I'm certain about for that. Uh, make sort of, sort of a wall here. Get this guy in behind. I don't want to go too far out on the sides. But I need my warriors a little bit spread out so that we're contributing to... Uh, Disturbing presence out here, for instance, if he wants to go this way. I think something like this will be okay. Okay, here we go then. We take this two die first, to make sure. That'll do. I will stay because I don't want to get through there. Knockout is very helpful. Good work. That was the armor seven. And here we go then. Need push and push. Would I reroll? I would reroll a double skull maybe, or a one in nine. I'll take the push. So has to be rid of him. Perfect. Well, not perfect because they didn't hurt him. But he's off. And of course we need to do this, so he can't just uh, return surface. Alright, that's good enough. I don't need to move this guy, he's still sort of a frenzy trap. If this is a push. Oh wow, his minotaur is not, uh, do not doing the best. Okay. Well, now we need to get some pressure up on the ball side here. I feel like blitzing this guy isn't bad. This guy will need to be blitzing. That's a four, which is three. If we can get three assists on that, we could uh, make it a three die. I'm going to put my frenzy up here to threaten the ball carrier. One, two, three. Then if this works, we could have a three die. And we only need three assists. So let's do the hit first. It's a little bit of a huge commitment here. But I feel like these guys are still being relevant to protecting the area. And having three dice when we don't have block is great. See, only one of them was successful. We don't need to follow that. So I'll stay. We only need to follow when we have... Uh, to follow when we have uh, pylon. We want to stay or follow that. I think I'll stay. So the guy, he can't really get a good dice here. He can blitz him though. So I'll move over here and bring these guys in a tad. That's good enough. Well, I can't use his Minotaur first this time, so it's gonna go for him, the GFI. Mm, doesn't seem like he plans his turns very well. He's just starting with the blitz every time. Or easiest hit. I mean, it would have been probably better to blitz this guy. He's more valuable and it protects your ball carrier a little bit better. Hand off. To the loner? No. So how do you protect him then? 
He's stuck. He can come up here, that's a decent protection. There and there would be pretty good. Maybe there and there. Tag him there. Well, yeah, now we have to dodge at least. about that. The little carrier is wide open if we can make a 3 plus dodge. Can even get him with the claw mighty blow if we make one GFI. We might not even have to dodge get one assist here we can knock him down and then follow up knock him down maybe I'm gonna be cautious though, if he gives me that kind of shots on the ball, I think we're fine. Take a two die here. Alright. Stay there. Now we have two disturbing presences on him. So that's my defense from his play over there. Uh, I'm gonna try this. Push is okay. Tied up. Now you can move. I'll go here and then I'll try the two die on this guy. If this is a knockdown, good. Then we will have a hit on him. Should probably stand over here. I'll put him there. No, he, he needs to be next to the beast for next turn. So, I could now blitz the ball carrier here. Or, I do this. And if this is a knockdown, it's not. Well, a push it still makes it viable. I'll follow just to tie him up, although he's going to get hit in return. So then this guy just comes up here, ties up this guy. And then we make this blitz. And we get two chances to knock him down. We make it on the first. I could try to dodge and pick it up, but he's just going to blitz me back. So, there's no real point. I'll just stay there. He's gonna have to blitz me back anyway. So there's no point in rolling the dodge die. And the pickup dice, which could make things worse. Right, he tried to stand up there, and since he wasn't blitzing, he didn't get it. See, as expected, he had to blitz. A push is not good enough for him. So he tries to reroll it, but it didn't work. So he's not picking it up. Instead of one die with the loner, also not very good. That two die he had, that prevented this warrior from coming back and solving that position up there. He's still stuck unless he dodges. Decides not to. This guy could come back, tie him up to get a two die on the guy on the ball. Instead he takes the one die, rolls the skull, and since he used his reroll earlier, no luck. Okay. Can have a mighty blow there. Could blitz with him and have the frenzy pick the ball up and maybe score. 
I like that. That's now a two die, but it's a one in nine. We can do this and have a two die on him, pretty good. Have a two die on him, pretty good as well. But this is the most important one. I'll just do that, I guess. reasonably safe now. If we pick it up and go over here, he could reach us with two GFIs. So I'm gonna do the other good one in nine blocks. I'm not re-rolling anything at this point, I think. Mm. Not having great luck. That at least ties up two of the warriors. Uh, this one's more important. No. There we are. One die here I don't think I'll take before this at least. Okay. Do we actually just score here? Let's see. Now we only have a knockout on him. We have a knockout on us as well. But we're fine with this position. I'll go up here and let... Mm, one GFI could actually help. I don't want to score down. Now he'll have to dodge through and make two GFIs. Oh, don't need to dodge twice. Only once is good enough. Like there. If you really want to hit. You want to click there and then click on him. Okay, he seems a little bit inexperienced. He wouldn't have made that dodge anyway. And then he made it anyway. And got knocked down. Ball goes out. And it goes forward, but not too far forward. Although it is free to pick up for a loner. While the animal does its job, which is to keep, keep them down when they don't blitz. He finally gives up that free player to assist someone. Takes the one die first. Works. And knocks out our beast. So that's pretty bad. We have a babe, but that's not the guarantee. Loner picks up ball. Loner pass. Disturbing presence made it a six plus, and the sun helped as well. We rolled a five, so it was close. Now we have the ball over there, which isn't the greatest. Let's see, we could free this player up. He could go and pick up the ball. Well, that's not what he likes to do. Could try to dodge um, blitz this guy out as our last move. I think I'll tie tie this guy up and hit him. But I also want to get maybe tie him up. I guess we'll try to pick it up on him. This is block in mighty blow. That does well for us. 
And now if one, two, three, four, I guess him over there is better. So let's try to push this guy. Okay, that's good. That'll leave a path for the other two. I think I'll make a GFI with him to get on the ball. Or maybe not. Let's put him on him. And then we make GFIs with him. No, we just go here. And this is kind of important. Giving him a lot of one dice here. Here and here, but at least he's not having any place free. So then you try to pick it up. Three rerolls and four turns, let's try that. Fair enough, then we don't get to, do, to try our cheeky little counter surf. But we have pretty good control over where the ball is. Again, he just immediately goes for a difficult surf. No safe moves first. Like, you can try to stand up the minnow first if you're not listening with him. He wants to... Uh, well, maybe he wanted to have the scatter. In case it went out, he wanted to have the players ready to respond to it. There we go. The minnow didn't stand up anyway. There you guys stand up. One die. Ow. Or rather, defender stumbles. Works just as well. One die, not a pal. One die, push. And he has a red die here, or he could try to dodge out and take the ball. Ah, he's gonna go be a uh, scoring threat. Not a bad plan. Though it does mean that this guy is now free and can free up in the blitz. Or even better, assist and then he... Yeah, that's better. Let's go up here and he picks up the ball afterwards. You stand up, doing the job of tying him. And then we have this. Let's see now, we don't want him there because he needs to go through, so there. Or, you know, in the KO box, that works. Also, get us off the sideline. So now pick the ball up and get up here. One die, one die, one die, one die. Now I'm going to be different than our opponent. I'm going to take this one die, which where we have blocked mighty blow, and he does not have those things. And then I guess I follow, even though it, it might give him up. I'm not taking these one dies. Maybe that one. But I'm going to try this first, because it's fun. Didn't get him. Not worth a reroll, though. There we are. And he's a scoring threat. He could run over and catch a pass. If he doesn't stand up. And if he stands up, then uh, he gets probably served. Now I can take the one dice. This one doesn't matter if I fail, so I can take that one. Yes, I am going to take these one dice anyway. This one would be pretty bad if I failed it, but I can afford to reroll it and it's only a 1 in 6 that I fail it. And if I succeed, it's actually pretty good. So I can do that. 
and breaking armor 9 is a bonus. Now this one, I'm on the fence about. Failing that means he has an easy 2 down the board, but if I don't do it, he has an easy dodge for a 2 down the board. So I think a push here would be pretty valuable. Because now I can do that, and follow, and he can't get through. And it looks pretty good for us. You don't have to do that as your first move. See, that's much, much worse than what he had before I made that push. So yeah, I guess perhaps that one was the more important one. Minotaur Blitz. I need to move out of the way. No. Okay, he makes the dodge instead. Fair enough, we will maybe three die him. Took the one that he didn't have blocked on. We had block. So that happened. Okay, so you blitz there. Can we make that a three die? Yes, we can. Okay, that's a little bit far. I'm gonna stand here just to tie up the Minotaur. He doesn't have to be there anymore. Bring him back here. I guess we do this then. One, two, three, four. That'll make for a three die here. You wanna move this guy? Let's move him as a scoring threat here. This guy can't get back and be relevant. I'll be greedy and reroll that. Four mighty blow. There we are, that's what we want him to do. Move some beastmen. No long term. Out of the way. Put him here for an even better frenzy trap. And then, who do we want to score on? Guess we're gonna score on the guy who has the ball. Hey, that's not a very good one. We've already blitzed. One die we can try to take. Fair enough. Shouldn't have done that. Doesn't matter too much in the long run. Yeah, exactly. Six. If you had put him here and him there, he would have had a three die, but now it's only two, and again, double skull on the Mino. Yeah, get down, Mino. Now, question becomes do we try to hit someone before we score? I think we have a reroll, yes. GG. GG. Three assists, this guy, damn, he should have been there. It's still not four, five, six, seven, eight, it's still the only a two die. Do I still take it? One, two, three, four, five, then I have nowhere to hit from. Never mind that hit then. Ah, I'm too greedy. 
Okay, I'm not gonna reroll that, because then it's a 1 in 9 that would fail. And we have a level up on our ball carrier. Extra arms. Perhaps. Block, maybe. All of our guys woke up. These guys also woke up. Wonder if he was serious about that GG. If so, he should proceed, I guess. And looks like he did. Here we are. Victory. He doesn't want to play his defensive drive. And he's already down by one. And we get the win. Now where does the level ups go? Shot Eye seems to have gotten the second one in two games. Two, we can do better. Yeah, three. And the other one goes for Rotterdam Ron, which is not as good. But all in all, we had more blocks. Equal number of removals, even though he had a little bit less blocks. But we inflicted an injury, he didn't. And of course we stole the ball. So a pretty good game for us. We have level ups to deal out next time. Block probably for White Pony. And then this Shot Eye 2 will get Mighty Blow. I will guess. So that will be interesting. Uh, so thank you very much for watching this game. I hope you enjoyed the match. And I'll see you again next time.